Billy's been known to feed some really big clients as we've known in the past, but this time he's tackled the biggest project of all, helping feed, eradicate homelessness and, and, and helping people in our community who are far less fortunate. When I opened the business up, I was so appreciative that, that the community responded by coming into the store in the first place, which was really important. My mission is to give everybody and their families the best bread that, that you can possibly buy. You know, with that said, we bake our bread and pastries and things fresh daily. I don't really want to sell it second day. So I was at, sort of at a dilemma when we first opened as to what, what to do at the end of the day when we have stuff left over, which is perfectly good. So we started calling local charities up to and said, you know, make yourself at home and come at the close of the store and um, we'd love to donate the rest of the product that we, that we don't want to sell the next day. Perfectly fine for people who aren't fortunate enough to be able to buy it. And thank you, Billy, really. We appreciate it. The first, the first thing that happens when we get bread from you is that I'm able to feed 36 people who are currently homeless and living with us. So that's a very big help to us and we use it for breakfast, we use it to supplement our meals. And then the second thing is we serve lunch and dinner every day to anyone who's hungry in the community and that's up to 50 to 60 people a day that come in and get lunch or dinner and I'm able to use your product and it's getting out to a lot of people who are really truly hungry. We then divide some of it up if there's extra and we bring it to our food pantry and we're currently up to serving 475 households in their food. So a lot of our neighbors are just barely making ends meet and we're able to supplement whatever kind of income they have with food and your bread is part of that. And and last of all, on a day where there's a big bounty and there's just too much for us to handle, we share that with Prospect House or Interfaith Housing or some of the other organizations in the community that we know can use it. Um, some of our staff works in more than one place, so when they leave their shift with us, they take bread with them to where they're going. So we really, really make good use of it and we appreciate it so much. There is always someone in need right. and, and Billy does such a great job in giving. and. Uh, you know, and that's part of the rationale for us to do this program. This program is a Community Business Heroes Award. And, and the simple recognition of that is that we are recognizing businesses that are small regional businesses in our area that through their people, through the people that have given the ownership or by their donations and, and their staff have given to the community, not only as a small business in providing a service, but they have given to our community through their tireless volunteerism. And for us, in this very difficult economic times, this award serves two purposes. One, it recognizes all the great community heroes that we have, but also it's, it's also allowing us to recognize small businesses in our community that make a difference and to promote them to help them succeed in this business because they're such a very essence of our community. Um, and for me, it is an absolute privilege and honor to present this citation from the General Assembly to Billy in recognition of the great, great and tireless volunteerism that you give and the charity that you give not only in, in the forms of donations but the charity that you give in caring about all the people that you interact with. So it's a privilege and an honor to present that and uh, here, I want you all to come. Come on over. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, it's my pleasure. It's truly, it's truly. So.